Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my uh, playthrough of the Wastelanders for Fallout 76. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're just outside of Gully Mine here. And uh, what we're doing is we are looking for Duchess's guards. I found a node on one of the scorched corpses suggesting they came from Gully Mine. Maybe Duchess's people are there. That is why we're going to go in here. We're going to find her so-called people. Uh, we know that they're actually combat robots or something of the sorts. And uh, she said something that made me a little nervous, and it probably made you nervous too. She said, oh yeah, they're perfectly harmless. They won't shoot you. Unless, of course, their inhibitor's turned off or something like that. So you know damn well that when we find them, they're probably going to fight us. But there's only one way to find out, and that is to actually find them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go on into the mine here. And um, look around a little bit. Don't shoot at me. Eh, these jerks. Scorched are jerks, man. There, take that. Alright, we got a dude lying here. Nothing interesting about him. Let's go on into Gully Mine. Check this out. Find what there is to find. Okay, hmm. Well, uh, there's definitely been a battle here. You can see there's some ash piles in here, probably left from when the uh, combat robots shot and killed Scorched, I'm assuming. Scorched. Here's a body here. Yeah, it's a Scorched body. Scorched corpse. Now, this is a place that obviously we visited in my uh, playthrough of the main game. I don't really remember what happened in here, what the story was, but who cares about that now? Who cares? We're here to look for some robots. I like that red exit light there, that's pretty cool. Oh, jeez, what a doofus. Hey, look, a door. I'm going to open it. It's the door I used to get in here. Good grief. Well, we'll look at this great picture I took of a uh, Mylark Queen when it was having its way with me. Actually, I killed it. It was fine. All right, let's go back in here. Let's just pretend like that didn't happen. Okay? Are we all in agreement? That didn't happen. I didn't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, put my weapon away. Um, I don't know if there's any reason to walk up here, but uh, uh, there could be a note or something left behind. Do I care about that safe? No, I don't. Let's just uh, move forward here. See if we can find any clues aside from the obvious clues that indicate that there has been a skirmish here. I mean, are these Scorched really going to be a problem? Whoa, that was a level 54 Scorched. Yikes. Okay, that's that's a different story right there. That might be some... Oh, that was a level 60. Okay, if these guys gang up on me in, in numbers, this could be a problem. That was pretty cool. It still says caution, so there must... Oh, there's another one. Yeah. So, I'm wondering now if this is a, a now an instanced location. It didn't used to be. Um, well, not to my knowledge, anyway. But uh, the fact that I'm seeing some high-level enemies in here is making me think that it's scaled for my high-level high character. I could be wrong about that. It's just a theory. Ah, you're dead. Stupid Scorched. These guys don't even have anything good on them. I mean, if they're going to be high-level, they should at least have some good stuff on them, like some... 45 ammo or 556 five, ammo, you know, something that I'm actually interested in. That would be nice. Eh, diluted right away is better than nothing, I guess. So, I mean, I'm just going in here, um, just kind of following the path of this place. Really, no. Yeah, we already listened to all those in the last playthrough. We already um, have been through here. He looked like he was just moseying on by. A 
little bit of water. Nice sound effect there. I mean, this weapon is just fan freaking tastic. Okay, he has some 45 ammo on him. Uh, I want 45 ammo because that's what this weapon uses. But yeah, this weapon, I just. I just one hitting these level 54, level 60 scorched. It's freaking fantastic, man. It's the best. It's a game changer. It really is. I guess we'll go this way. There's some stuff in here to mine. What is it? Coal? I mean, I don't even know what I want coal for. I'm not even going to bother to mess with it. If there was like iron down here or lead, I'd get that. But coal? Hey! Uh, over here! Don't shoot! I'm people. Oh, he is people. I thought she said that they were robots. Maybe the other one is. I'm people. Hey, what's up, people? What's going on? Oh, Saul, what's up? <laughs> I better stand up so I can talk to him. Do not crouch and try to talk to somebody. It won't work. Hey, 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 hey. Tell me you got a stim pack. I'm hurting here. Uh, yeah, I got a, I got a square I could spare. Sure. <laughs> Find your own damn drugs, freeloader. I can give him a stim pack. Jeez, what kind of person am I? Not give a dying man a stim pack. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Good to know there's still some heart out there. So, uh, you the cavalry then? Duchess send you to save our tails? Um, well, let's see. If you're Saul, then yes, or she did, but if you want help, it's going to cost you. Or nope, I'm Santa Claus. <laughs> You've been a very naughty boy this year. Or tails. I don't fraternize with mutants. Okay. Uh, yes, if you're Saul, then I, then yes, indeed, Duchess did send me to help you. Much as I appreciate it, I'm not the one who needs helping right now. No? See, these, uh, scorched things have been herring the bar. Me and my bot sis Polly got the bright idea to track down their nest and clear them out. But a couple of them got the drop on us before Polly chased them off deeper into the mine. I heard some fighting, but then, uh, nothing. I think she's hurt. Look, you've got to find Polly. I can't be the reason she... Look, just find her. Please. Okay, as soon as you stop talking very slowly, I'll go find her. Uh, don't worry, I'll find your friend. Fine, but someone better pay me. Uh, are you going to turn into a scorched? Close your eyes, I'll make it quick. You're not going to help me, or Polly is your boss, bot sister. What does that mean? Let's ask him this. What does bot sister mean? It's... Look... When you get Polly back, I'll walk you through every little detail of how I became best friends with the machine. But first, I need you to save her. You think you can do that for me? Fine. Don't worry, I'll find your friend. You don't even have to pay me. <sighs> thank you, thank you. Once you've got her, just bring her back to the Wayward. I I'll be there. And tell her... Tell her I'm sorry I couldn't be the one to save her. Yeah, that's the first thing I'll say to her. Alright, Saul. See you later. You just mosey on back. I cleared it out for you. You should be fine. Just take your time. You'll be fine. Well, now that quest uh, has been updated, I spoke to Saul and sent him on his way back to the Wayward. Now I've just got... Now I just have to find Duchess's other guard, Polly. Well, I mean, it's good that Saul's still alive. Hopefully Polly is alive as well. I hope so. I don't want to have to break the news that they're, that his bot sis is dead. That's not really what I want to do. Okay, let's crouch back down. And uh, we're going to move further into the mine. Ooh, Excessive Potato 1 purchased some of my ammo. <laughs> cool. Oh, hi. <laughs> that looked so fake. <laughs> it looked like bad acting. I shot him in the stomach and then he was like, Oh, wait a minute, I better grab my stomach and then fall to the ground. Ooh. Purchase my shotgun shells too. Nice. It's exciting. Yeah, I don't. I don't need Saul to pay me. I got people buying my junk back at my camp, man. It's all good. Uh oh 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 oh. He's running up, and he's dead. Oh, who's next? You're next. Now you're dead. Anybody else want some more of this? Like, because I got 246. I don't know. 251 more bullets left. However, you add those up. 
Oh, there is one down there. Problem is that if I stand up, I don't get my sneak sneak bonus. There we go. Now he's dead. There. There, this place is nice and clean now. Ah, some wonder glue. Ooh. Bought a plan for pocketed raider armor chest. This is exciting. It's really neat to think that somebody's at my camp right now. Walking around my camp. Buying my stuff. It's fun. I like it. What's we, what's this? 10 millimeter? Nah, I don't want that. I don't want any of this crap. Uh, what do you got on you? 5.56 five, rounds, just what I wanted. Cool, nice. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, shotgun shells, I don't want those. It's like I'm shopping. Mm, let's see, uh, do I need any of this? Do I need any of that? Now, uh, okay, that's just kind of a dead end up there, so we actually need to go down. Oh, wow, look at this. What do we got here? Sugar bombs. I can eat some of those. Instamash, cram. Oh, man. Kinds of good stuff here. Nice. A note here, supply cage code. Supply cage code 071990. <laughs> Very secure. Yeah, activate. 071990. Okay. I mean, it's a. Uh... Oh, a cage with stuff in it. I like stuff. Another plan we already know, probably because we've already been here. What is this? Um, do I remember this? What is this? Do I have a card for this? Huh, this requires an ID card. Um, okay, I don't know if I remember that or not from when I was here before. That's mighty interesting. Uh, speaking of interesting, there's some canary cages there. You know about canaries at coal mines, right? Very interesting. Couple more uh, dead scorches down here. Polly's down this way, I guess. Huh, I'm gonna tell you. I don't remember this hole here. Oh, there's some gold. Um, I'll mine some gold, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, gold um, worth something to somebody. Okay, which way was I going? We want to go this way over here. Yeah, down this way. Okay, let's go find Polly. Ooh, he had 45 rounds on him. I want those. Nice. Coming for you, Polly. remember correctly it's gassy down here is that right for some reason I thought that there was gas down here and I might need to use my power armor but so far so good she must be right over here is that her head because it looks really 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 weird from here kind of spooky hey hey someone there I can use a lift um well I mean I'll try to help you. I think that we fought a Scorch Beast down here, didn't we? Hey, come on. I can hear you over there. Oh my. Have a heart, would ya? What? This is all that's left of her? Just her head? You are a sight for sore eye. So, those things didn't get you, huh? You happen to see a young man on your way through? Early 20s? Rough around the edges? Carrying about a bullet's worth of extra lead in him? Uh, honestly, he looked a little older than early 20s to me, but uh, sure, I saw him. He's hobbling his way to safety as we speak. He's alive? Thank God. That's good to hear. So, 
What do you say you and I help each other out? You get me back to the wayward, and I'll help you bake to a crisp anything that bothers us on our way out the door. Uh, okay. Let's see, not right now, or what happened to you, or bake to a crisp, what do you mean? <laughs> and are you going to pay me for getting you out of here? Uh, what do you mean by bake to a crisp? Although I think I know what she means. She looks like maybe she's an assault tron. And this thing charges up and fries people. But let's ask her anyway. Never met an Assaultron before, huh? Probably for the best. That flashy red pearl in the middle of my face doesn't just complement my scintillating personality. It also happens to fire a multi-gigawatt laser. You pick me up and give my neck servos a twirl. I'll kick off a blast that would make Oppenheimer quote scripture. So... We blowing this gin joint? Well, before we do, I'd like to know what happened to you. One too many of those crystalline creeps. I'll give them this. They may be hideous, stupid, ugly, bad-smelling, poorly dressed, tactically backwards, and overly forward with a lady. But they are fearless. Enough of them rushed me at once that it severed my neck bracing. And so the curtain rises on my current predicament. Now, are you going to help me out? Well, where's your body? What are we going to do about that? Fine, you got a deal. I'll help you out of here. Of course I will. That's the ticket. Now, let's... Oh, okay. You hear that? Sounds like those things have regrouped. How about we make them regret it? Well, how about if I just use my weapon, because it's doing a really darling. good job. Let's make sure these things never bother the wayward again. Uh... Ooh. Okay, well this isn't working very well. Hey, get away from me. Oh, what the... What the... What? That killed me? Baloney. Okay... What in the world? Holy crap! Um... Good grief! Oh, great. It put me all the way back to the very entrance. Wonderful. Uh, I don't know how to save my game in here. I mean, is there a way to do it? Um... Sheesh. I mean, at least the... It looks like the Scorched that I already killed are still dead, but damn. What the hell, man? How hard did that thing hit me? See, I'd, re I'd really rather just use my weapon. I know it's an effective weapon. I don't want to have to use her head. Fine with the weapon I've got. Okay, so Saul, I guess, is already walking out of here. Uh, wipe out the Scorched. Uh, I still have her head. I don't want to use her freaking head. I want to use my weapon. I can't believe how hard those things hit. I guess maybe I should take some uh, rad away, get rid of the rads, get my health up. Ooh, Nuka Cherries here. I didn't see these before. That's pretty cool. Oh man, potato crisps, golly, there's a whole meal lying on the ground right there. Well, let's try this again. Maybe coming at them from this way. Might have better luck. I mean, I tried vatsing on them, but that didn't seem to work either. I mean, look, I, look at my small chance of hitting him. I mean, I don't even think I killed him, did I? Look, I'm doing no damage to him at all. I don't want this stupid I'm weapon. Sure I thought we were having fun. No, we weren't. Let me use my weapon. It is far superior to your head. Okay, nope, there's still more Scorched. We need to take out. Uh, there's one running around over there. We'll get him here real quick. Look at that. <laughs> there. I'm going to use her stupid head. That was terrible. That was a terrible weapon. I mean, I like the idea of it, but uh, that did not work well at all. Got me killed, as a matter of fact. I thought we were done killing these things. Oh, no, we're not. Level 68 dudes. 
I mean, somewhat of a challenge, but not much. One more moving around up there. Oh, here's the foreman. And he's dead. Okay. Uh, my loot is right here. I do want it, so I'm going to take all of it. Yes, game, I want to take all of it. So I guess, yeah, these are pieces of uh, Polly's body here. And she doesn't seem to be too concerned about it. Um, I thought she might want me to pick it up and carry it out, but I don't know. Maybe she'll come back and get it later. I've collected all of Duchess's people. I should head back and speak to Duchess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's head back and speak to Duchess. Yeah, man. Just let me use my own weapon. No, that was a terrible weapon. I did not like that at all. Uh, if we look at it in our inventory, it might be interesting to look at. Polly's Assaultron head. Um, if we inspect it... There we go. It's pretty cool looking. But, I mean, it does 63 damage. And that's pretty wimpy compared to... I mean, it's not really totally her head's fault. I'm just not spec'd for that kind of weapon. Uh, I have no perks whatsoever for energy weapons, so... Yeah, of course, it's not going to do much damage when I use it. So. I'm sorry I called your head sucky, Polly. It's not sucky. I'm just not spec'd for Assaultron heads. That's not the way out. I can't believe that killed me. I, I, I mean, I know I had some uh, radiation damage, so I didn't have max hit points, but good grief. That guy that hit me, hit me, what, three times and I died? It's hitting me pretty hard, man. Well, uh, I, uh, well, no, I do have armor on. That's right. I've got my pink suit on, but I'm wearing my pink suit over top of my armor. So I've got armor on. Ammo finally corroded. Wet Cave really did a number on it. I'm not going to be much help now. <laughs> that's funny. So that's the game's way of telling me that, sorry, you can't use Polly's head anymore. Um, breaks my heart. I will be fine. There's still a cave in that direction that we've never visited before. It's pretty interesting, really. We'll go visit it later. Um, right now I want to get back to Duchess. And bring Polly's head back to her. I'm sure Saul is worried sick. And we're not too far away from uh, the Wayward. So let's head on back here. Give Saul the good news and the bad news. The good news is that Polly is still alive. Bad news is that I just was able to get her head. <laughs> so help me if they give me a quest to go back and get her body. <laughs> I will be upset because I was just there. A motel here. I don't remember if this was here before or not. I, I honestly don't remember. I don't think it was. When I say before, I'm talking about before the DLC. Okay, Duchess, I'm back. There's a Saul there. <laughs> Big old moonshine Back at jug. Long last. But where's our girl? Did you find Polly? I did. I'm gonna tell you about it. Draw Polly's Assaultron head. That's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I'm gonna draw her head. Oh god. Polly? Whoa. You're not looking so great, darling. Duchess, I'm not feeling great. Friend, why, why don't you set her down? Yeah, maybe we should set her uh, down. Jug should do the trick. Jug should do the trick? Place Polly in the moonshine jug. Uh, okay. 
place head. Well, that's funny that I noticed that when we walked in there. It's there for a reason. Is there new text here? Uh, Duchess suggested I place Polly's head in the moonshine jug sitting on bar. I can now add that to the growing list of sentences that vault training never prepared me to write. That's funny. This is real snug. <laughs> That's not gonna do at all. Oh, Polly. This is all my fault. Solomon, no. Don't you dare. This is not... Uh, Duchess, tell me you emptied this out. Did I... You know, I'm 80%. Duchess? It's all right. I, I can fix this. There's a robotics shop over in Somersville that... Oh. Oh, oh. Solomon, you're going nowhere. Look, <laughs> I'm sorry to even ask, but is there any chance you might be able to help us out here? I can make it worth your while. Find Polly this new body. I'll tell you everything I know about Crane and his treasure. Um, Please say yes. You're supposed to already tell me about Crane and his treasure. The, the deal was if I went and rescued your people, you would tell me. But um, it doesn't look like I have the option to do that. Um, so anyway, you expect me to lug an entire Assaultron body back here? Oh, don't you worry there, Saul. You still got one of those trackers? Uh, uh-huh. You tag the body with Saul's tracker here, I'll have my people collect it. Once it's safe. Okay, and where can I find her a new body? Solomon, you had a spot in mind? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's this old robotics dealer over in Somersville. Uh, Duncan and Duncan. The, uh, the owners boarded it up, but it's possible to get back there if, if you know where to push. All right. But, uh, you, Duchess, have you actually known where the treasure is this whole time? What are we doing here? Honey, it's complicated. But I promise. I will walk you through every... gory detail if you do this for us. Well... I'm a little annoyed because our agreement was, if I bring back your people, you'll tell me about Crane and the treasure, but now you're making me do something else, but fine, I'll track one down. You are a lifesaver. Yeah, yeah. Here, the tracker. Just plant that on Polly's new frame, and we'll handle it from there. And here, you'll need this to get into the place. Just leave it unlocked so we can come and get the body later. And make sure it's pristine. No damage, no reprogramming. Factory defaults only. I don't want anything going wrong in the transfer. And at the risk of sounding like a broken record, thank you. We'll all owe you big after this. Yeah, you will. You owe me real big. Well, we got some caps for that. Uh, we got some experience points. But uh, now I've agreed to help find Polly a pristine Assaultron body. There's a shop in Somersville where Saul believes I might be able to find one. Before we do that, let's take a look at this other quest here, the new arrivals. The overseer is in Sutton. I should go and speak to her. I really don't know why I didn't run off and do this quest first. Probably because um, when I exited Fallout 76, there were those two people there that I saw immediately. And then the wayward was right down the road. So I just walked right down the road to um, to the wayward. But if we go over here, uh, we can talk to the overseer. So I think that since we're kind of in the neighborhood, let's kind of cruise on over there and uh, talk to the overseer and, um, you know, see what's up. This is not my finest moment. <laughs> Please don't tell me you're having second thoughts. Go body snatch. Fine. You have anything else that you want to say to me? Like Saul said, tag our girl something nice, all right? Fine. What about you, Saul? You have anything you want to say to me? Make sure you get a good body. Little problems lead to big ones. Uh-huh. I... 
I should be the one doing this. So, thank you. Yep, you should be the one doing this. I never made it inside the shop itself. Hopefully it won't be too hard to tag the body we want. I'm... I'm okay. Just a little dizzy still. Alright. Uh, you have anything you want to say? Oh my gosh. Polly's lucky to be functioning at all state she was in. Now, I hope you two had fun on your way back, but was there something you needed? No, I just wanted to hear if Some you had anything to then. say to me. All right, you bunch of losers, I'm out of here. They're <laughs> not really losers. Whoa. You might think I've been drinking or something. I haven't been, but you might think that. All right, so... Um, as soon as we get out of here, I'm going to activate the... I thought I had activated the quest to go see uh, the Overseer. But I guess I didn't because it had a black triangle. No, it does say that I'm supposed to go talk to the Overseer. That is the quest that I have selected here. So I don't know why when I show it on the map it shows up as a dark black triangle. Uh, because I thought that my current quest was in yellow. But it doesn't matter. I know where I'm going. Let's go. I'm going to have to get over top of these mountains here. I'm wondering if I should just go this way and take this road. Let's do that. Let's take this road instead of trying to go over top of those mountains. So I'm going to go here to this junction. Then we'll turn this way. Maybe go down this way and make our way to Sutton. Like that. So let's just follow the road. Yes, I could fast travel there, but we've already talked about this. If I fast travel all the time, I'm never going to discover any new places. Speaking of which, we know that there's a new... cave entrance over here. So I'm pretty sure I saw a new cave entrance over here. It's nice and quiet out here. Wish I could see my feet. I can if I do that. My fancy white shoes. What's this? Private property, no trespassing. Guess that's the entrance to Gully Mine there. I am curious about this other cave, though. But I'm more curious about seeing the Overseer. Level 5 dude there. Which way am I going? Oh my gosh. The wrong way. Boy, did I take the wrong way. Golly. Uh, I was trying... I guess this is the road I want to be on. Man. Totally not paying any attention to what the hell I was doing. Stay on this road. <laughs> so yeah, I came from that way and I should have turned right here. I just did, wasn't paying attention. Let me take a drink of water here. I really do feel like they've changed how quickly you get thirsty and hungry in this uh, DLC. I don't remember getting that thirsty and that hungry that quickly. Let me make sure I'm going the right way, jeez. Okay, so there's gonna be a road up here to my left and I wanna take it. Here we go, Sutton it says. Take this exit. 
Oh, there's something new up here. An outline of uh, a building on my compass, so that's exciting. May even be where the overseer is, I don't know. So this, this is the little town of Sutton, here, and yeah, Overseer's home. Oh, she's got a home here, okay. Is it the one up the hill there? I'm not sure. Take care of that mole rat. Thinking... Yeah, maybe it is up this hill. Might even be that building right there. Let's see if I can get up here. Oh, there's some stairs here. That's nice. Yep, this is where we're going. Put our weapon away. Well, this is pretty cool. That's a nice place. Discovered the Overseer's home. Flag flying overhead. Welcome! Let's go in, man. We're gonna finally meet the Overseer. I mean, my character's met her before. He knows her quite well, but you and I, we've never met her. There she is. There's the Overseer. Oh, she's uh, oh, watching home movies. God, you're here. I almost... It's just so good to see you. Let's talk downstairs. Cozy as this place is, there's... Someone I'd like you to meet. This place is awesome. We really went overboard with this place. Feel free to look around. Yeah, I'm going to. This place is pretty nice. This is really nice. Got some, uh... Got a slideshow here going on. That's pretty cool. She got a little Victrola over there. Posters and bookshelves and a nice little kitchen here. She needs to clean up though. Jeez, what a mess. Clean it up. <laughs> this place doesn't have to be a mess. But it is. Gee whiz. Oh, we found the bathroom. Oh, that's a nice bathroom. It's just cool seeing a place look so different. In this game world, because pretty much every place you go into usually looks exactly the same. Oh, this is neat. Nice little painting on the wall there. She's got a little collection of toys here. Uh, a bedroom here. Does she have a kid? Kind of looks like it, doesn't it? So who do you think she wants us to meet downstairs? No idea. But I am just fast. Oh, tag on it. <laughs> Well, there must be a balcony here. We'll go stand out here and take a look. While we wait for Appalachia to load up. I'm always so quick on the trigger to open a door. And then this is what we wait for. What does that sound? Okay, so she's got fusion generator out here. That's pretty cool. But, um... She appears to be kind of a slob. I mean, she's got a freaking rib cage in a metal box out here. I don't know about this woman. Alright, let's go back in. I mean, it, if she cleaned up a little bit, it's a really nice place. Just kind of a mess. Let's, uh, let's keep looking around up here. This is really interesting. I mean, this is cool seeing these books on the bookshelf here. A bust there of somebody. I'm not sure who that is. Oh, okay. Maybe that bedroom was her room. Because this is, does not appear to be a, a bedroom. An accordion. 
Well, I really, for the most part, I like what she's done with the place. A book there. Can't interact with it, though. Anything in her desk? No. Nope. All right. Let's go. Let's go find her. Oh, she got a terminal here. This is neat. Wow. She got a cool place here. Oh my goodness. Look at this. This place is awesome. Davenport. Let me introduce you to Davenport. He's been helping me with some reconnaissance. Keeping an eye on Appalachia. Oh, so good to meet you. I couldn't have pulled this place you. off without him. The overseer it's has tough. been so excited. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't do that. Um, I got a key for something. So this quest here, the new arrivals, I found the overseer in Sutton. I should speak with her to find out what she's been doing. But first, let's re interact with Davenport. I'm always delighted to see a resident of Vault 76. Well, former resident. Yep, that's me. Let me tell you, it's quite a job keeping track of all the comings and goings here in Appalachia. Yeah. The overseer and I keep quite busy, you know. There's just so much happening here in Appalachia. Indeed there is. The overseer keeps me quite busy gathering information. Forewarned is forearmed, as they say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, let's interact with the overseer. She's got some raider armor on. Pretty crazy out there, huh? I know we have a lot to catch up on. But first, I have to ask. Did you finish the inoculation against the Scorched Plague? Please, it's vitally important. Um, I did, actually. But, um... There's other things we could say to her. Everything after leaving the vault has been insane. Vault tech never prepared us for this. Or you could say, you're lucky I'm even here. Don't start making demands. Or it's good to see you. Can, can't we catch up now? Or yes, the inoculation, inoculation is done. I'm afraid if I say this, I won't get to say anything else to her. Um, let's try to say these other things first. I know. Believe me, I know. But we can't focus on what other people could have done. We have to focus on us, our future. Okay. Uh, it really is good to see you. Can we catch up? I know I owe you a sit down, but I need to discuss this first. I'll be quick. Once you're on board, we can catch up and I'll answer any questions you might have. Now, the inoculation. Did you finish it? I sure did. Good, because we're going to need a lot more of it. Have you been to the mountains lately? It's not just us anymore. People from outside Appalachia are coming in. I snuck around two of the larger groups and saw them both building. Walls, housing, defensive positions. They're coming to stay. Each and every one of them is walking into a medical crisis they don't even know about. Mm, okay. Um, why are they coming? Why now? Who cares? They aren't from 76. They're not our problem. Or I'll make contact with the newcomers, get them inoculated. Oh, let's ask her this. Why are they coming? Why now? I don't know if you've been following the rumors, but there's something in the mountains. No one's managed to get into it yet, but one thing's for certain. It's a vault. I eavesdropped on some of the newcomers, and whatever is inside there has gone from speculative guesses to full-blown fantasy. Stories of untold riches would draw groups of people even before we turn the world into a wasteland. Hope and greed are powerful motivators. Indeed they are. Oh my, okay. Um, so, we could use our perception and say, I can tell you have a theory about this vault, don't keep me in suspense. We could use our intelligence and say the structural integrity of a vault is designed to last generations. It won't be easy to get in. Uh, we could use our strength and say if any of them stand in my way, I'll break them in half. 
Or we could just simply say this whole thing sounds like nothing but trouble, or if there really is a treasure, we'll find it. Uh, I like this one here. I can tell you have a theory about this vault. Don't keep me in suspense. Let's hear it. I don't want to lead us down the wrong track, but I've got my suspicions. The gold people are finding in the rivers can't be a coincidence. But first, we need to make sure the newcomers don't get infected. Hmm, okay. Um, what do we know about the newcomers? Judging by the architecture, the ones to the north are the old raider pals that crazy robot Rose keeps going on about. You might, uh, need to talk to her about them. See if she can arrange a meeting or, or whatever their word is for we need to talk, don't shoot us. The ones to the south look more like a caravan of families, but who knows what they've been through. Don't let your guard down around either of them. Okay. Mm. Let's see, this reminds me of the Vault Tech training. Do you remember the How to Make Friends movies? Or if you're so worried, you should go yourself instead of pawning it off on me, or you can count on me. Um, uh, do we remember the How to Make Friends movies? Oh. Yeah. I can't remember the official title. You'd think it'd be burned in my head with how many times I played that for everyone. The reality is a little different, though, isn't it? Prepare for the future. <sighs> I was wondering what a sad sigh was going to sound like. Um, I, I don't mean to be a jerk, but if you're so worried about this, why don't you go do it yourself? Do you think I like sending you into harm's way? I don't. But we have to lean on each other. I need you, all of you, to do your part. Anyway, I'm sure you must have other questions. We can talk about them now if you want. Or if you're ready to head out, just be careful out there. Okay. Well, she never really did say why she isn't going to be the one to go talk to them. So what's she got on the board here? Fertilizer material. Okay, that's kind of interesting looking. New quest started here to stay. We got a map here, but it doesn't have any pins on it, on it for us to learn anything new. So we got some new quests. Quite a few new quests. The new arrivals, according to the overseer, two new settlements have been built in Appalachia, the crater and foundation. Well, she didn't mention the names, but okay, we know them somehow. I need to convince their leaders to get inoculated against the Scorched Plague. Well, what if we just never even talk to the uh, raiders and just let them get the plague? That'll take care of them. Of course, then they turned into they would turn into Scorch, and we have to deal with the Scorched insta instead. Uh, we have another quest called Strange Bedfellows. I need to make sure the new raiders in Appalachia get inoculated, but they're not exactly friendly. I should speak to Rose at Top of the World and see if she can help me get a meeting with their leader. And we have this other one called Here to Stay. Settlers are coming into Appalachia. Whoa, that was a neat move over there. She's quite spry. They need to be inoculated against the Scorched Plague. I should find their leader and talk to them. So I'm pretty sure there's more we could talk to her about, uh, but we'll have to do that next time. I'm going to go ahead and exit uh, her house so that I save this. And then uh, when we come back next time... Um, we might go right back in and talk to her some more, or we might head out uh, to do one of these other quests. It kind of depends on where they are and what I feel like doing in the next episode. But that is where this episode is going to end. As always, I thank you guys for joining me. I hope you had a good time. And uh, if you've made it this far, uh, I'd appreciate it if you'd leave me a like or a comment to let me know that you are enjoying following me along in this playthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure hope you join me again in the next episode.